Hello and welcome to ITIL4 Foundation Training from OneWorldTraining.com. Firstly about One World Training. We are a global training company having our offices in the USA, UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, UAE, South Africa and other countries. We provide training in IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR and other courses for individuals as well as organizations. We deliver our courses in five ways, public classroom based, online from home or work, e-learning, a blended approach of self-paced e-learning with in-person support for instruction or at the user's location with on-site team training for private and government organizations. We are an authorized training center and endorsed by leading global professional bodies such as PeopleCert, PECB, IPCert, etc. Myself, Murali Dargadam, Murali in short, I'm a certified trainer and course advisor for various courses like ITIL, PMP, Project Management Professional, Prince2, Project and Control Environments, Managing Successful Programs, Verism, etc. I have worked for several years in IT and project management and worked with teams globally across several countries in several global organizations. I have a multi-domain experience in IT with software development, project management, program management, and IT infrastructure management services. First of all, we would like to acknowledge Axelos for their materials, which we have used in this course. Let us look at what will be covered in this training course. ITIL, we will be covering introduction to ITIL, then service management key concepts from ITIL 4, the four dimensions of service management, the seven ITIL guiding principles, the service value system, continual improvement in the SVS, the service value system, an overview of practices, and the different categories of practices, which are the general management practices, the service management practices, and the technical management practices. Number five, which is the service value system, includes number four, the seven guiding principles. It also includes number six, continual improvement. It also includes number seven, practices. Apart from that, it includes two other components, namely the service value chain and governance, which will also be covered. And as we see the practices number seven, they are split into three categories, the general management, service management, and technical management. In total, we would be covering 15 practices of which seven would be covered in depth for the exam and the remaining eight would be covered superficially for the exam as part of the exam syllabus. The other core concept apart from number five, the service value system is number three, which is the four dimensions of service management. Together, these two for the, form the core components of ITIL 4. And apart from that, in the beginning, we'll look at the key concepts of service management. Introduction. Herein, we are going to understand uh, a little bit about this course. It is generally two days in a classroom mode with assignments and group discussions wherever applicable. In an online mode, it'll be examples and presentations. In this course, you will also receive practical exam guidance and tips. And uh, some sample questions will be practiced from time to time. Exam may be scheduled anytime after the training is completed and you have done your preparation with some additional study if necessary. The exam is a one hour exam with 40 multiple choice questions, 26 correct to pass out of the 40, no negative marking and it is invigilated. This certificate has become the IT industry's de facto professional qualification in the field of IT service management. At the foundation level, you will be able to get ITIL awareness. Let's look at the ITIL 4 certification scheme. After the foundation level, you may do the managing professional level or achieve the strategic leader level. To achieve the MP or the managing professional level, you would have to complete four certifications as shown here. Similarly, for the strategic leader, you would have complete two certifications as shown below. Let us take a more visual look at these certifications. Here we are, ITIL Foundation. Above them sits the four certifications in order to reach the managing professional. And above the foundation sits two certifications to reach the strategic leader. It is also possible if you have a V3 certification, for example, if you are a V3 expert or not expert yet, but maybe having at least 17 credits instead of the 22 credits, then you could still write the MP transition exam and directly jump to ITIL 4 managing professional. But those who have less than 17 credits from V3 ITIL would have to 
go th through this direction, starting with foundation and do the other certification and reach the MP certification. Or the other route is to uh, obtain at least 17 credits in V3 and do the transition exam and jump to the MP level directly. Which means there is no separate exam for MP or SL, but these are achievements based on the remaining certifications. About these, sit the ITIL master, which is a different procedure. It is not just exam, but it is also interviews and assignments. The foundation exam performs testing at two levels, at the remember level and the understand level. The exam doesn't go into the application level or the analysis level or evaluation or creation levels. So it's basically recalling facts and basic concepts and to explain ideas and concepts. The learning objectives. As mentioned before in the table of contents, we're going to focus on two core components, the service value system and the four dimensions of service management. Within the service value system, we have continual improvement we have the ITIL practices, we have the guiding principles, we also have governance and the service value chain, which are not shown here because they're part of the service value system anyway. Apart from that, we begin with the service management concepts first. The modern world requires definitely a different approach to service management because of IT enabling all businesses. Without IT, businesses are not able to perform as effectively as they should be. And because of the advancement of technologies, more and more business are trying to exploit these technologies in the best manner possible. Like cloud computing, infrastructure as a service, machine learning, blockchain, artificial intelligence, robotic automation, etc. What is ITIL and what is ITIL for? It's a comprehensive guidance. It's not a prescription, but a comprehensive guidance for managing IT enabled services in the digital economy. It provides an end-to-end -end digital operating model for the delivery and operation of IT-enabled products and services and enables IT teams to continue to play an important role in wider business strategy. It provides a holistic end-to-end -end approach that integrates frameworks such as Lean, Agile, DevOps, etc. History of ITIL. ITIL had its origins in the late 80s with a consortium of companies publishing best practices in the form of books. The number of books were reduced eventually in the early 2000 when V2 came up. And V3 was no longer books, but you have five books which were life cycle based. The service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation and continual service improvement. V2011 was a minor update of V3 with some improvements, additions. 2016 was when ITIL V3 practitioner was released. A real practical approach for working professionals using ITIL and 2019 is when ITIL 4 foundation was published initially in the first quarter and followed by the second half of the year half of the year with the remaining certifications and 2020 in the third quarter is when the digital and IT strategy the last of the certifications and guidance was published while this brings us to the end of the section we'll also take a look at uh, the sample exam paper to really understand how it looks and some of the related websites like Axelos, PeopleCert and the TSO shop. This is an official sample question paper from Axelos. As mentioned before, the exam will have 40 questions and 26 to pass, no negative marking, one mark per question, one hour or 60 minutes to do the exam. Yeah, once again, one hour or 60 minutes and it's a closed book exam. Usually the exams would be online uh, monitored on the webcam, so online proctored, and unless you are doing the exam, sitting the exam at a physical center at the training organization. Question one is a sample question. As you can see, it's a multiple choice question. The correct answer is one of these four. Another type of question is number seven, where you have to fill in the blanks. There's a question mark, which means you have to fill in the blanks with, with one of these answer options. Most of the questions will be of those two types. Sometimes you may have this type of a question as in number 36. There will be four options given to you and two of them would be correct. So it could be either one and two combined or two and three and the other options. 
but, but there will be less number of such questions. And the last type of question you might have, very minimal would be such as number 35, which is not. It's a not or a negative question without negative marking though. And the answer would be one of them, which means three of the options would be true about this, but one of the options is not correct about it. Let us take a look at the website of axelos.com, who are the owner of ITIL. If you go here, you will see the certifications page here. Click on it and you will arrive at that page. This is where you can even download sample papers. You don't have to be a member of, all you have to do is to provide your email ID and you can download their official sample paper and answer sheet for any of the exams, including the ITIL exam. However, we will be providing you those as part of our learning management system or the LMS access. Here I am at the foundation certification page on the Axelos site. And as mentioned before, here are the sample papers. This is the V4, ITIL4, sorry, the sample paper with the syllabus for ITIL4. There's also the ITIL4 foundation app, which is a really good deal where you can practice a lot of questions and also go through several concepts as good preparation for the exam. The exam is based on this manual, the ITIL Foundation, ITIL 4 edition manual. Not all of the manual is included for the exam syllabus, but maybe about 50 to 60% of that, which we will be covering anyway completely in this course. This book may be purchased directly at this uh, site or even through their partner site, which is TSO Shop in the UK. Here you would have to go and select business and management under that Axelos. And this is where you see ITIL 4 and other topics from Axelos, other guidances and publications from Axelos. At this site, you will be able to purchase either in hard copy book form or in the form of an app or an online subscription, an ebook. And the app, by the way, is the, the app to practice your questions. The online subscription is an annual subscription. The, the fee, the charges for all of them are almost the same, meaning the book, the ebook, PDF, or the online subscription, the prices are very close to each other. And the app would be much less priced because of it's an exam preparation app. Coming back to the Axelos website, it is also worth becoming a member. And that is what is meant by My Axelos. My Axelos offers an annual subscription to ITIL or PRINCE2 or MSP. There are different uh, guidances. If you become an annual member of, My Ex of Axelos, you will have access to the practice guides, the 34 practice guides of ITIL 4. However, only 15 of them are applicable at the foundation level. And you don't have to study any of the practice guides for the foundation level at all. But for the higher level certifications, you would have to study some portions of some of the practice guides. At the foundation level, we'll be covering everything you need to know about the practices in our training course itself, rather than having to go through those practice guides. But a good advantage of the membership is, to, is the ability to download those practice guides without any additional charges and even templates, white papers and other items and ability to study online several other publications from Axelos. To become a member, you would have to log in and you have to create your profile and then become a member after that. The membership at this time cost um, 50 British pounds as seen here on the left. And that brings us to the end of section one. Thank you for listening.